one. Hi, I'm Brian Kresarik. I'm with a company called Reelables, and I'm here today with InPlay to demonstrate an active beaconing Bluetooth label with the InPlay IN100 chip inside. These are Bluetooth labels uh, that we make on a reel. They're printable Bluetooth labels that go into off-the-shelf uh, barcode printers. This one happens to be from Sato. And what I'm going to demonstrate is a process in which we provision the labels from a hibernate state in which we ship them to an active state at the point where labeling may already take place in applications for inventory management and cargo forwarding. So the way this will work is I'm going to scan a QR code or a barcode and that QR barcode represents a number, a serialization that a customer may already have. And what we're gonna do is associate that serialization with the Bluetooth identifier in the cloud. And that's gonna happen automatically. And when I do that, it's gonna print and activate one of our labels with the in-play chip inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan a QR code. And then uh, at that point, some desktop software then instructs the printer to print the label. And as you can see, we've now just printed and activated one of our Bluetooth labels from Reelables with the in-play chip. And this particular string here is, just happens to be what was on the uh, QR code that I just scanned randomly. So now this is an active beaconing label. Uh, the, the data is being sent up to the cloud via uh, an app on an iPhone or around the corner a little Bluetooth gateway such as this one from Cassia. And so if you go to an app uh, or go to our API, you're able to then get location information for whatever was labeled with this particular label. So again, demonstration of Reelables labels with the in-play chip inside and how they're provisioned. Thank you.